Hey guys, welcome on in for today's video where I wanna walk you through how to use the different functions of the YouTube video editor within the Studio Beta. Now there's also a video editor in the Classic Studio, but I actually like the one better in the Studio Beta because it allows you to get more accurate splits and trims when you're trying to take out sections of a video that you've uploaded. So to do this, make sure you're in the Videos tab and click on the title of the video that you want to edit and then click the editor function. And most of you are probably gonna be going to this to trim and take out little splices here and there of your video, so that's where we'll start. So go ahead and click on trim, and then you can drag and drop this white line wherever you want your trim to start, and you're gonna split it in that section. Now to make sure that you're as accurate as possible, you can click the little magnifying glass to zoom in, and that should really help you get a very accurate uh, split and then also you can click the play button here and that will allow you to see the visuals and audio of what's in that section of the video again so you can be as accurate as possible with where you want your split to start but once you found your starting area just go ahead and click split and then drag it over to the area where you want your split to end and then this dark section is going to be the part of the video that gets edited out now, if you wanna make more than just one area to take out, well, you just go ahead and select a different area of the video and take this white line and find exactly where you wanna start your split and go ahead and click split and then drag the line to exactly where you want it to end. And then that's again gonna be an area that gets taken out here, the area that's highlighted in the darker uh, shade that we have in this particular spot. So you go ahead and you can click preview and play your video and it will play without these functions so you can just make sure that everything is sounding good and lining up perfectly. And then once you're done with taking out the different areas that you want to exclude, you can go ahead and click save and that will save the changes to your YouTube video. Now there are a number of other different options that we have here in the editor, so I'll walk through those as well. If you wanna add some non-copyrighted music, on top of the audio of your video, just go ahead and click the little music note section here and click the audio part right there. And it's gonna take us to an external page. Find the different uh, non-copyrighted music that you want to add and click add to video. And then you can drag and drop it wherever you want inside of your video. And you can go ahead and edit exactly the section that you want to have the non-copyrighted music play over your particular uh, video. Again, and this is probably only something you're, you're gonna need to use if you have copyrighted music and it gets claimed on your video and you just need to add something on top of it so that you can monetize it again. And once you're done, you can click save changes in that instance. Now going back to the video editor and we can also manually put in ad breaks. So let's click on that option. Take our little white line here, click ad breaks. And once you click the little plus sign next to where it says ad break, then it's going to go ahead and add an advertisement to that area. So we added one right there. Let's take the white line over here and do the same thing over there. And you can see now it has a couple of different advertisements in the middle sections of this particular video. You can also add an end screen. And you can pick what type of end screen that you want to put in and click apply. And then it's going to take you to the last 20 or so seconds of your video. And you can change up these different uh, elements. You can add elements as well, different videos, playlists, and uh, edit them in this particular area. And then we can also do blur. Now, I don't think the blur function is all that great, but as a last option, uh, it is something that you can try to use. So you can blur faces here, or you can do a custom blurring. I'll show you how the custom blur works. Click on edit, and then just drag and drop a box over the area that you want uh, there to be blur. And like I said, it's pretty finicky. I'm not a huge uh, fan of this particular blur option, but you can lock it in place or you can have it kind of move around automatically. It'll try to stay over whatever area that you have it blurring, and then you can drag and drop this. So um, wherever you have that ending, then the blur will go away. And once you have that blur, 
exactly where you want it, you can go ahead and click done. But again, guys, I'm not all that big of a fan of the blur function and definitely try to add blur in an external video editing application if you can, because it's going to be a bit more accurate and easier to function more than likely in an external app than what I've seen the uh, YouTube video editor being capable in terms of putting that blur in there. But as a last resort option, it is something that you can use. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this video, guys, showing you all the different editing functions that we have inside of the video editing tool in the YouTube Studio Beta. I hope this was helpful. Consider subscribing for more and hope to see you guys back here for future videos.